Thank you everyone for coming. We are Healthcare for All New York. We are a statewide coalition of over 110 healthcare organizations dedicated to quality, affordable health coverage for all New Yorkers. And we are here today to talk about the need for quick and urgent action on a health insurance exchange in New York. There are two bills that are currently introduced. There's a governor's bill and a Senate bill. We're here today to say that we oppose the Senate bill. We feel that it falls short in many areas to give consumers the protections that they need to purchase health insurance through the exchange, which needs to be operational by 2014. We need the Senate and the Assembly and the Governor's Office to come together on an agreement quickly on a health insurance exchange so that we can access the federal dollars that New York must have in order to implement a health insurance exchange in New York. We have a number of speakers here today to address some of the issues with the legislation and why we need quick action. First, I'll introduce Elizabeth Benjamin from Community Service Society. Hi. Thank you very much for coming today. What I'd like to talk about is the difference between the governor's bill and the Senate bill. The governor's bill allows the exchange to be an active purchaser. That means the exchange will be able to drive good prices, good bargains for New York's consumers. Small all businesses and individuals will be required to have health coverage come 2014. The governor's bill allows the exchange to, to be a good, smart purchaser and buy and bargain for good prices. The Senate's bill is silent. The governor's bill will allows the consumers to be able to make apples to apples comparison. It requires the exchange to be able to do standardization of products. The Senate would like us to continue status quo. One insurance pro program right here, in, one insurance carrier right here in the Albany County offers 28,000 different product lines. No consumer, no small business has the time to be sorting through 28,000 different insurance products. What we need is an exchange that will be making good and smart choices on the behalf of the consumers they represent, both individuals and small businesses. The governor, Neither the governor's bill nor the Senate bill have adequate protections on co against conflicts of interest or the promotion of health equity, and we'd like to see both bills strengthened in that area. But right now, we're here to say we, we support the governor's bill and we are opposing the Senate bill. Um, Kevin. Okay. Kevin Finnegan from 1199 SEIU. I just want to say on behalf of the 350,000 members of 1199 SEIU, we were supporters of the federal health care reform. We believe that the states have to implement that reform in a meaningful way to provide quality care at affordable prices. The governor's bill is really the only way we can get that done for the exchange in this state. And we support it very much, not the same. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Ben Geierhan from Small Business Majority. All right, there's only one issue that matters to small business, and that's price. The Senate bill simply doesn't address it. It doesn't allow for active purchase of, uh, of health insurance. That means prices are going to go up, which means, in essence, the Senate bill is, is not helping small business solve what is its biggest problem, which is the price of, uh, escalating price of health insurance. Thank you. Beverly Padgett from Citizen Action. Good morning. My name is Beverly Padgett. I'm an Albany, New York resident. I am also one of the thousands of members of Citizen Action and one of the millions of people in America who spent nearly two years fighting for the passage of the Affordable Health Care Act that was signed into law by President Obama March 2010. I fought hard for health care reform because I experienced firsthand with not being able to have health care come in. In order to truly create a system where all people can receive health care they need. We must set up an exchange that fights for the people we, who are using. Even with President Obama's signature, the, the health care reform is not complete. As the speaker before me said, New York must act now. When only three days left for the legislative session, our state senators and assembly members must pass a bill to create a new exchange. One area must be acted upon now is the need for the exchange to develop strategies to address the growing health disparities of people of color, people who speak different languages, women and people with disability, and as our lawmakers create their change, health equality must be priority or will be forgotten. We call on lawmakers to include any among any member study already in the governor and senator bills, a study on how this change can reduce health disparities based on race and many other factors. 
Also, we must be sure that the governing board of the exchange and any advisory committees created reflect the diverse makeup of the people of New York. Therefore, we must put in concrete language that demands the governing entities of the exchange reflect the diversity of our state. In conclusion, to meet the promise of federal health care reform and give all of the residents of New York quality, affordable health care, we must create this new exchange in a way that protects people from profit-driven insurance companies who got us into this mess. For this reason, on behalf of 20,000 members of Citizen Action of New York and for all New Yorkers, I call on the legislators to move quickly to improve, pass, Governor, the Governor Cuomo bill to, to create the health benefit exchange before they leave off. Thanks. And Fran Hamblin from AARP. Good morning. I'm Fran Hamblin. I'm a member of AARP. We are here today to call upon Governor Cuomo and the legislature to establish a health insurance exchange now. We have less than three legislative days left for action. It is important that New York take the opportunity to create an efficient, affordable, and consumer-friendly health care exchange. We need a health care exchange that negotiates the best insurance rates and has strong conflict of interest provisions. There are 500,000 New Yorkers between the ages of 50 and 64 who are uninsured. 65% of these New Yorkers have told AARP that they worry about affording health care for themselves and their families. This population has an increased risk of the onset of chronic health conditions or disabilities and has an increased need for medical care. The time for action is now. So join me in calling on Governor Cuomo and the legislator to establish a health insurance exchange now. And finally, Lois Atlee from New York Alliance for Women's Health. I'm here on behalf of the women of New York. Um, women are the ones who do the shopping for our families and also arrange the health care. And we know that for our families, health reform cannot come too soon. We must get started on establishing a good, consumer-friendly insurance exchange in New York this year. We cannot afford to delay until next year. And because we're women and we know about shopping, we certainly want to encourage New York to be smart shoppers for our families. Get in there, empower this exchange to do active purchasing on behalf of our families. Get us the best prices and the best value for health insurance that we cannot get on our own. So New York's leaders, please get to it right now, this session, and make it happen. Thank you. Good. And in conclusion, we just want to say that we need the assembly to get on record where they stand on these critical issues. They need to support active purchasing and a strong governing board out of the gate. We need the Senate and the governor to reconcile the differences, and we urge the legislature to adopt provisions of the governor's bill that would give New York a health insurance exchange that New Yorkers need now. Thank you.